Hey guys, it's the Slimy Dog here with another episode of Pokemon Black 2. So, um, sorry that my videos are a little inconsistent, but as you might know, I'm having board exams right now. Or rather, I'm going to have board exams, but, um, yeah, basically, I am really preparing hard to get good grades and that so that I mean I really don't care about my grades but if I get a good grade in that my parents said they were going to get me a 3DS capture card and that's just brilliant because as you might know the new Pokemon games are coming out and let me just talk to this guy or whatever uh, what um Okay, uh, looks like we have to... Oh, so, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we have to go into the other warp panel. More stuff to do. So in the last episode, we just beat Zinzolin, but here we go. We see a Chroma. Welcome. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with this research. When I des what I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I can accomplish that... I don't care what it takes. If it means the strength must be brought out by the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means to, means you to have use a merciless approach like Team Plasmas and force out all of the Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the vi viability of this approach to bringing out the full potential of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have not the answer that I desire or not. If you are ready, come at me. I think that's like a healing plate or something. Nope. Not gonna heal me. Uh, what's this? Nothing. Either way, let me just check my Pokemon right now. Looks like, uh, not much damage, actually. Leonardo taking some hits. I'll probably switch Crobat. No. I think Devastator can take it. Um, so yeah. It looks like you're ready then. Okay, let us begin. Yeah, so yes, as I was saying. If I get a good grade in my exams, then my parents will buy me a Pokemon, a 3DS capture card. And with the 3DS capture card, I will be able to record Pokemon X and Y. Or rather, just Pokemon Y, which I will be doing. Um, that's pretty much all I want to say. But, yeah, that's it's gonna be nice to record the games. I mean... I'm probably gonna get them either way, but imagine Zone. It's okay either way. I'm just gonna kill him, hopefully. Uh, that's not good enough. Um, I think I have a revive in my bag, so yeah. Um, that's not gonna help. I'm just gonna keep on lava pluming. And maybe fire punching, if I can. Yep. Um, so yeah. Capture card, pretty important. Gonna need to study a lot, prepare for the exams, get good grades. Yep, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um. Uh. I really don't know what to say right now. Um. Well, anyways, we're battling Colrus, and as you can see, he is taking over the world, and please don't kill me. Uh, that's probably gonna kill me. Oh, brilliant. That was an amazing save over there. Devastator, you're doing brilliantly. Yes, we're gonna keep you in. Um, well, you're faster than this Kling Clang, but I don't care. I'm going to go to the bag and heal you up with a, uh... What is that? Hyper Potion. Hyper Potion on you. Devastator, healed up, full, and uh, ready to go. Hopefully he doesn't use Earthquake or something. He's probably... Okay, yep, he didn't use Earthquake. He used Thunderbolt. Um, 
So as you can see, Coldress has this, uh, kind of electric theme to himself. And I don't know what that's gonna do with that. Is actually increasing his speed and attack, which isn't that good. But then again, if he's gonna use another Thunderbolt, I don't see how that's gonna... How that's gonna really... Oh, yeah. That's gonna be a problem. Um... Uh, yeah, that took us out, but I'm not gonna worry much because we still have, uh, Zorark is pretty low leveled, but, um, I guess he can take on, uh, take on this guy, take on this guy with a faint attack, guy probably shouldn't have done that, but either way, we get him fainted and he's taken out. And we level up our Zoroark. Um Psychic Pokemon. Probably would switch out the Pokemon. That's a good idea now. Not gonna send out Dark Knight because he is actually a poison type. Poison type is not good against Psychic. Um Slimy and Night Fury are two good options here. Probably I'm going to send out Night Fury. So, anyways, if you really want to talk about Black, uh, I mean, Pokemon X, then please do so in the comments down below. I'd love to see what you have to say about the games. And if you're not as pumped as I am, then I don't know what you are. Because this, um... This game, it's really, really gonna be something new, something different. I probably won't do any speculation videos like I've done with the Black 2. Maybe if I feel like it, I will, but... Uh... Yep, see, he said, he's at... He's more psyched than he's ever been before, just like me. I'm more psyched than I've ever been before for a Pokemon game. Then again, I've been pretty psyched for, uh, Pokemon Black. I mean, every, every generation since the fifth generation, I've been really psyched for new games. And I should probably switch my Pokemon out. Um, Slimy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um... My speculations for the game, however, are pretty... This is taking way more- way too much time. I should probably just use a revive on... Who's that? Um... That guy. Okay. Restore. Status restore. Revive. Use. On. Devastator. And there we go. Use the revive. Devastator shield and fainting. Flash cannon. Gonna do some damage. Switch out. Devastator. And there we go. This should probably finish the battle pretty fast. So anyways. Um. Hope you're looking forward to the, um. To the game as much as I am. Because I'm looking forward to it a lot. And, oh, come on. Why do you have to be faster? Either way, Flash Cannon won't, uh, did a lot of damage. Why, 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 why? Why is this happening to me? Every time I try making an episode short, like, this one pissing off thing happens, and then I have to go and use an item and heal up Devastator, and then... Yeah. Basically... A lot of sucky stuff happens. Um, let's try speeding this up by using another item. What am I gonna use? Hyper Potion. Freshwater. Freshwater on Devastator. And that should heal him up. Fully. And fortunately, Night Fury faints. And we will be able to send out Devastator without him taking the first hit. So, 
That means that we can use a fire punch and actually kill it. Unless... No, I don't think he has any more Pokemon his team to switch out to. So, Volt Switch isn't... Oh my god, that's... So freaking close. And he... I should probably use a... Status Healing Hyper Potion item on Devastator. Um... Yep, I really don't have anything else to say. I just want to say that... Yeah, then there's this. Um, The reason I need a capture card is, obviously, so I can record for this channel. Because I'm really nice and I want you to be able to see me playing the game that you all love to see people play. Um, so yeah, just... If you can, tell your friends and... Oh my, why is it doing so much damage I don't know why but yeah if you can tell your friends and everything about how awesome I am and and if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe because it's free and I'm learning flamethrower so I mean I don't know why you wouldn't subscribe flamethrower 95 lava plume 80 special attack strength thunder punch I'll probably keep both of those for coverage so lava plume I'm sorry but you're gonna have to go and there we go, learning flamethrower. Um, and getting a lot of experience. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you thinking of reaching even higher heights by understanding each other's Pokemon and trainer? Oh yeah, I also was thinking about this. That's a pretty interesting speech he has about the bonding between Pokemon and trainers. I think that might have actually influenced his decision. Um, I mean, Pokemon Game Freak's decision to add some bonding between Pokemon and trainers in Gen 6, which is pretty interesting. I really want to see what they do with that. Um, interesting mechanics. Every two generations, they do add some change in the game mechanics. Like, in the fourth gen, they added special and physical split, and then now they're adding something else. To think that's actually what you believe. To bring out the power of your Pokemon with respect and love. But if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. Actually, I am getting pretty annoyed with what you're saying right now. So I'm probably gonna just skip through what you're saying. Full strength, scientific approach, conscience, potential of your approach, Team Plasma wins. Will you decide how the relation between Pokemon and people should be? Where will this be settled? Warp panel, Curum is being held. Good luck with battle. Yep. I hope there's this guy who actually heals me up. I mean, I really need to be healed. Yeah. Thank you for not letting me go. Oh no, he's running away. Is our Pokemon healed up yet? Obviously not. Because Pokemon freaking hates us. Um. Oh my. Is that guess gets this? That blasted chorus. <gasps> it's gets this. The fool is too far, too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma. How dare he put his personal intellection, intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova. How fortunate for you. Few get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to make Kyurem's true power to its ultimate, absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people in Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma. No, at my feet! Kyurem is an empty being. The remnants of certain Pokemon when split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is absolute rule over K Unova. That's right. Kyurem will be the vessel into which my desires will be poured. Lord Getsis, Kyurem has been transferred. It's finally here. The wonderful era in which I am the absolute ruler of all Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. Wait. You're one of the Shadow Trides, right? 
tell me about that purloin which was stolen at Aspersia. Very well. This might be it. I stole this Pokemon five years ago, so it seems likely this is the Pokemon you're talking about. But now it only listens to my commands. Such is the fate of Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. What? Don't mess with me. That's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, I feel sorry for Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokemon and the whims of their trainers. Lord Getsy spoke of liberation two years ago, and simply for his own ambitions. But if his plans had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. The Sly part. Well, you know it as Purloin. If it had been rescued, it might have returned to you. Well then, you there. I won't let you interfere with Lord Getsy's plans, and he's gonna battle us. And this is probably gonna be the last battle of the thing, but, um... Last thing I just wanted to say before this battle ends is... Um... I'm actually gonna need to buy a 3DS capture card for the ob obvious reason that I am not gonna be able to record... Um... Record on my comp, because I'm gonna need a trans... Basically, you can't emulate a 3DS game. What I'm actually doing with these DS games is not using a DS capture card, but rather using a, uh... A... What... What you gonna call it? Um... I'm using an emulator called Desmium, and using a recording software like Fraps or Camtasia to record the screen. And then I basically just edit it and show it to you guys, and, you know, everyone has a nice time. But, um... Yeah. And, however, in the 3DS, obviously you can't emulate it, so you need a capture card which records the data of the screen and basically puts it onto your computer. Then, from the computer, I can use Fraps or Camtasia or whatever I use to, uh, record the screen. And actually, it does come in built with some recording software, so I might use that as well, because I really don't know. I mean, sometimes Camtasia lags or might fail or something like that, and I have a pretty slow laptop, so we'll see what I do. But, yeah, don't forget to... Uh, oh, my. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to battle them as well. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share it with your friends if you want them to see the awesomeness of a 3DS being played on a computer. And uh, I'll see you later. Maybe in one week, maybe in two. And uh, by then I'll probably have daily uploads ready for you guys. Because by then my exams will be over and I won't need to study or anything. And I'll be able to relax and have fun and whatever. So yeah, thanks for doing what you do, and I will see you later. Goodbye.